Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here to talk about all the info we got from the Digest from Dragalia Lost 1.5 year anniversary. I'm not actually going to play this video because Dragalia music is very easy for you to get copyright struck in. So I just have the Mega Man stuff uh, from the Mega Man event in the background. So I'm just going to go over all the stuff they went through. I suggest watching this video if you want to see the actual video because they kind of, you know, it's fun, knots around. But if you're only here for the hearing about what's coming up for 1.5 and everything else, just listen to this. And if you end up liking this video, please leave a like. And if you want to hear more about Dragalia, then you can subscribe to me. I also do a bunch of other video stuff. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start with the first thing. All right, so this is the trailer right here for the brand new Gal. I already have a video up for Gal Alex. I actually recorded this just before this right here. You can't hear anything, but I can't remember if she's actually talking about this, but it's a very nice little cutscene to show show off Alex in her brand new white um, coat. And this also shows off a little bit of her skills. Um, yeah, she's really cool. But yeah, if you want more about Gal Alex, I recorded a another video, but that's what they started with. They started with the Gala unit, of course. Uh, so we'll go here. Uh, whoa, five appearance rates will be boosted from 4% to 6%. That's all Gala banners, if I remember correctly. So, and this will go from, oops, March 26th till April 1st. Or depending on your time, PT or UTC. Anyway, next thing. Here we go. Okay, this is basically the login bonus. On day one, we get a tenfold summer summon voucher. Day two, mini Zodi. On day three, uh, 40 ex exquisite honey. On day four, a five worm print, the red impulse. Day five, a five summon voucher for uh, an adventurer. Day six, blessed Ethan ashes. Um, day seven, five summon voucher for a dragon. Day eight, only one ingot. Really? Come on. 100,000 Elder Water on day 9, and then 1,200 1, Warmind on day 10. Uh, and this will start, of course, on 326, literally when the anniversary starts. This is what you get for coming in for 10 days. Pretty solid, I would say. I like that they seem to be running with the idea of, like, because uh, the last one was Mini Mids, and now it's Mini Zod. So we'll have all the Mini... Where's my Mini Mim? That's my question. Hopefully next anniversary. Um... And the red impulse will be will not be unbound and will be at level one. Really? Huh. They usually don't do that. That's weird. Right? Usually they fully come unbounded and stuff. Interesting. That makes me wonder what the hell this thing does. That they were like, nah. Okay. Next thing. Next thing coming here. We got daily free ten folds. So all for Summon up to 60 times for free during these six days. What it actually means is that um, you get six multi-summons. That's why they're saying 60. So every day till then, daily free, six days. Sounds good. I like that. It's not bad. All right, let's see next. All right, next we got the Platinum Showcase. This one's interesting because it's actually divided into... So if you don't know what a Platinum Showcase is, Platinum Showcase is the one where it's similar to something like Fake Grand Orders Banner where you have to use real paid currency to actually do it. So you can only access this with paid currency. The thing that they've done differently this time is that it's actually divided into two separate banners because now I guess they realize there's too many Gala Banners and it's actually very hard to... Um, get anything even from a guaranteed gala banner it was only really worth it if you had either one or none and even then it was possible for you to get a dupe so now it's divided into two different ones you can i believe summon players can perform a tenfold summon on each platinum showcase only once so you can only you could do both of them but only one time one has luca cleo ranzel cerise and the other one has elisane the prince and mim uh Again, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money on these. These are really solid if you don't have any galley units. And it becomes less solid if you have Ranzel for... I, I'm pointing at my screen. If you have Ranzel over here, this banner becomes insta-death. Because the chances of you getting a dupe Ranzel are 1 in 4. The thing that's... Uh, the reason you would probably still kind of go for it is the fact that Cleo is 1. Crazy broken. Luca is crazy broken. And Cerise is... Very good. Still fantastic for a bow unit, uh, for red, that is. But if you have probably two out of four of them, again, it's all about risk. But a lot of people 
spend a lot of people do summon on current gal banners going for cleo it's kind of insane and if you get cleo you're basically set for basically every single event that uses shadow ever that's how good she is and for the other side we have the prince elisane and mim uh i love mim from the deepest hearts have you seen any of my uh summon banners for mim uh, any of my summons for platinum stuff in general not platinum um gala banners she shows up at least once <laughs> It never fails. Uh, she is unfortunately the weakest spot of all these. It hurts me to say, but this is also pretty solid. If you don't have the Prince and if you don't have Elisane, and if you love Mim and you don't have Mim, I would definitely say that this is a pretty solid lineup here. Again, since it uses real money, be cautious. Think smart. All right, next. Anniversary packs. Again, this is for stuff for people who uh, spend money on it. We got limited time superior orb pack. Dimantium uh, 1,500, Incandescent Orbs, 50, oh wow, 50 of each of the or oh, and four Champion's Testament. So, if you play a Logic Gallery, if you don't play a lot, Champion's Testament, aka Toilet Paper, is what's used to, um, it's used in a lot of, like, mana circles, but it's also very important for mana spirals. If you ever hear people saying, I'm out of Toilet Paper, um, they're talking about they ran out of Champion's Testament. I currently ran out of toilet, toilet Paper. And it's a terrible feeling. So that's, I think this is pretty solid. I wish there was actually more of these. I actually don't know how much you're spending for this one, but. Um, and for this one, 4,800. Four Sunlight Stones. Not bad, depending on how much they're charging for it, that is. I don't buy a lot of these packs, so. Again, it's your money. Spend it how you like. I'm not going to judge you. Uh, limited time champions road campaign endeavors. So there's going to be endeavors, and you can earn up to five thousand wormite. We don't know what they are, but they include clearing high midrasomer trial standard and Volks. Hmm. So standard is actually not that bad. Standard is pretty easy compared to a lot of other stuff. Actually, I take that back. If this makes you complete st uh, standard Mercury, that might be too much for some people, but. We'll see. There's plenty of people now for mentor bonus who are willing to carry you. As long as you go into these fights with the idea that you A, want to learn, it's actually better if you, like, this is something actually people tell me a lot when I do some videos. Like, when I did the Lin Yu video, people always suggest, like, hey, if you're unfamiliar with the fight, um, look up a video of it and see how it is. And I do that, because like, Lerp always gives me the videos for it. The difference is that I'm not very good. So it's all, <laughs> it's a very hard process, so... I'm interested to see how this goes. I will I will gladly earn 5,000 more might. That sounds great. All right, next. Uh, they're just close up of not. Um, they're resetting um, all the co-op stuff. So you're going to be able to co-op again. 2,500 more might from that. Very good. Love when they do that. Fantastic. If you somehow do not have all your co-op, you have until the 26th to basically get it all there. So get it done. Okay. All right, so here are the events that are going to be happening during it. Triple drops for Elemental Ruin, Dragon Trial, Imperial Onslaught. And it'll be, wow, double stamina recovery as well. And they're all, like, on specific days, too. That's interesting. I don't understand why you wouldn't just do them all at the same time, but maybe it's because literally, like, there's no point in it, I guess? Interesting. Not bad. That'll be good for my daily, um, uh, my daily stuff. All right, here's a new event coming in. Unfortunately, again, as you can see, this is actually the song playing currently, which you can't hear because I will be copyright struck and no one would be able to see this video, is by a new band. It's usually by the same lady, Doka, who does all the, um, apologies if I didn't say her name correctly. Um, she does all the music for Jigalia, but they actually got a new band for this one to do it. And this is going to be, I believe, I can't remember if it's starting on the 26th, but um, it should. We'll see at the end of this train. Aldred. There's a Dragon Man. Stop this. Andromeda. And I believe this is also going to be a summon banner. Nothing less than the creation of the Ali Rick. The Doctor. So yeah. What in the world? It's very weird. That kind of looks similar to the first raid boss we ever had. Scars of the Syndicate. From March 30th to April 20th. 12th. So that actually starts after? Huh. Because the first year, the 1.5 is on this... 26 and this starts um, a couple days afterwards after, actually so huh very interesting there's the director of Dragalia Lost so one thing I'll mention here because I, I don't think they ever show a thing for it that's the, obviously those three the those two units and the dragon you saw that's going to be the summon banner but then afterwards there's going to be a part two for this event so 
remember that for when that comes out. I don't know what that means for the concept of what's going to be there, but when we get more news for it, I'll gladly cover it. Oh, here it is. I'm dumb. Raid of the Syndicate. New Summon Showcase Scars of the Syndicate Part 1. Whoa! Hello there! Huh. I like this. I like a lot of this. Event duration 4-1 until 4-12, and then... What is that one? Oh, I see. It's different time. I was like confused. I was like, what? Why the hell is this going backwards in time? It's not. So that's part one. Very good. Look forward to that. I'll probably be doing some summons on that now that I look at it. Uh, new ability, Chain Co-op Abilities. This is actually currently active in the game if you update right now. If you wait to update, then you'll get it later. Um, basically, everyone has brand new Chain Co-op Abilities that go alongside Co-op Abilities and... and so here's the example they give. If one person has a channel co-op ability of strength 10% and the other one has flame strength 5%, um, you get 15% from both of them, and then plus dragon time 5% and stun resistance 5%. So they instead of like usually abilities when you have the same ability, they don't stack. These stack now. Now because of this also, uh, <laughs> this has made the game extremely easy, at least for a lot of higher up people who already felt like the game was kind of easy. It's definitely more easy now. And speaking of more easy, now all co-op abilities affect only you. So beforehand, player 1's, the, the character you were using, player 2's characters they were using, and 3 and 4, the characters you were using, that was the uh, co-op ability you got. But now, you bring your own co-op abilities. Everyone brings their own co-op abilities, so no one has to fear about, like... This is actually very interesting, because now you don't have to worry about, like, um, not getting the stack from a specific boost or something. This is another reason why stuff has kind of gotten easier, because there were certain um, team builds, like for example, High Brunhilda, um, that kind of used... Um, what's the right word? They used two Hunter Ceresa, so both of their co-op abilities want to work together. Now, everyone's bringing their own co-op ability, so now, in theory, you won't have that problem anymore, because now you're taking care of your own stuff. Basically, it's BYOB. BYOB. Bring your own beer. Bring your own co-op abilities. And that's the one of the thing. They're working on an event compendium. I don't I don't remember if they said when this is coming, but when it does come, it's gonna have these series of events, the Miracle of Dragon Yule, A Wish to the Winds, and Flames of Reflection. I sure as hell hope this means less rerunning events. Cause let me tell you, the one problem one of the big problems with Dragalia, it's the biggest problem they have, is they rely too much on reruns. So hopefully with an event compendium you won't have to worry about that because the reason why some of these were actually good is that when a, a event got re event got reran, you actually had a chance of getting a facility, which in a facility event kind of boosts the stats of like either an adventurer, a specific weapon type, or an element, and those were super important for getting your dudes stronger. And a lot of people are missing out on those. So with this, hopefully, we won't have to have so many reruns, and more people will be able to get those facilities. They're adding Fafnir medals, which now will drop from every quest, and you can trade these medals for these things you see here, which are all things I need. You can get, oh god, you can get, again, toilet paper, which is all you should be getting. That's all I'm going to be getting. Um, you can get stuff obtained from Advanced Dragon Trials, materials obtained from Void Battles, all very good. I don't know what the drop weight's going to be because it hasn't been released yet, but this is all good stuff. And honestly, using this is actually going to be able for a lot of people... One of the big problems with Mana Spiral is that it requires you to actually beat higher tier events. Like, for example, I have an Iyasu, but I can't actually power him up because I need this specific um, tail, but I need to get better shadow units, but I don't have good shadow units. So I can... I have perpetually seven... Five, I believe seven different shadow units that could all use this right here, who would be very useful in Jupiter, but I can't use them in Jupiter because they're not ready for it yet. So... I think this is a good idea, especially with this. I need more champion testament. All right, next. Here are a bunch of future updates. They're updating how skills work. Wait, is that the next one? Yes, here it is. Uh, so now the team leader can use two select skills from other adventurers on the team, but that it takes the place of like the weapon skill if you want to use it. So if you want to use a skill from a specific adventurer that's like in there, um, I, f yeah, you can use them. It's gonna be really weird because this sounds like it could easily break the game. 
So we're going to have to wait to see when it's actually implemented how it is. I can't remember if it's actually implemented now. If it is, then I haven't been playing enough to notice it, but this seems like it would be crazy busted. Especially because, again, these are going to be taking... But again, if you use this, you can't use your weapon skill. And some weapons have pretty good effects. Like, a lot of the uh, Agito weapons are very good. So, it'll be interesting to see. It's interesting to see how people will combine stuff together. And also to see if that changes the build of a character, if they have access to other character skills or something. So, next. Uh, new encyclopedia fi features based on how many oh wow so you'll be able to see adventurers dragons and weapons and worm prints that you have obtained i was so hyped during this i completely forgot about this you'll be able to get various bonuses based on how many you've collected that's great because i'm a great collector so i have a lot of this stuff and i have a lot of useless things so i'm here for it for agito they didn't mention which is the next agito agito but they did show us art for two bosses technically okay so here's the first one uh, Ciala, 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 she's looking great. That's all I have to say about that. Um, where is the other? These two, Ahaya and Otoha, both looking pretty good as far as I can tell. Since all of these are usually followed by a character or something, I would not be surprised that this was like Alex's and Elisane's. They, these are the ones for them. Because previously it was Ranzel and Luca, so I don't know who this one would be. Probably Cerise, because they're Sildens, but maybe that's kind of racist. Anyway, next, moving on. Because I, based on this Mega Man music, that's telling me that I've been going on too long, and I'm already longer than the actual digest itself. <laughs> this is a trailer for, um, uh, I actually wanted to stop here. This is a trailer for the next story mission which is us going to be actually attacking the capital, and this is some brand new uh, backgrounds. It looks great. Um, still in development and stuff like that, but coming soon. Coming in June. That's the important thing. It also sounds like bad things are happening. <laughs> and finally, here's the last thing, I believe. Yes. So here's the big one. J the Fire Emblem event is coming back, and here's the important thing right here. The mana spirals for all these characters will be unlocked the second the event starts. This is great because all these characters have basically died down except for maybe Fjorm. Fjorm is the only one that I think is still kind of used by people. Marf has fallen off, fallen off. Alphonse, in theory, was never even all that great. I mean, he was good. He was just okay. And then there's Veronica who immediately got discarded the second Galicleo showed up. So yeah, the, this event's going to come back and I believe it is April 19th as the start date. Where is it? Right here. Uh, maybe I skipped it. Maybe it's right here. Yeah, here it is. April 19th. And then the thing they don't... They don't have a graphic for it yet, but there is going to be a brand new Fire Emblem Heroes event that will be coming afterwards as well. So after the main event, there will be another one. with That means a brand new summon banner, a new event, a new story, new everything. And that's kind of it for the Dragalia Digest. That's how they ended it off with the reveal that one, Fire Emblem Heroes was, was coming back, which I feel a lot of people at this point kind of knew. And the two, the surprise kicker, the next crossover will be Fire Emblem Heroes again. <laughs> so expect more Fire Emblem Hero characters. I'm already kind of working on a video where I'm trying to figure out who I would want to see from the Fire Emblem hip side and the Fire Emblem Hero side from this. And I've asked a bunch of other people as well who they would like to see. Um, but yeah, that's it for the today's digest. If you watched all this, thank you. That was me trying to kind of quickly go over the, everything, but there was a lot of stuff. They actually, they, I'm actually kind of impressed how they were able to go over so many stuff in the limited time we had, uh, with in under 20 minutes basically, because I went, I think I'm over 20 minutes at this point. But yeah, that's everything coming from, uh, everything we know from the Di Dragalia Digest, so. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. Comment what you're lo most looking forward to and if I miss something somehow. Because there was a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, and that's basically it. So, I want you all to have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! I hope that actually stopped the video. It didn't!